To begin setting up the Leland Viewer app, tap on the Leland Viewer icon on your mobile device. This should cause the following interface to load. Be sure and tap Allow to allow the app to send you notifications. To create a grouping, tap on Groupings at the bottom of the interface, and then tap on the Camera with the Plus symbol at the top of the page. Tap on Scan QR Code, followed by Start Scanning QR Code, and then the arrow pointing to the right at the bottom of the interface. Tap OK to allow the app to access the camera, and then use the camera interface to scan the QR code from the HDMI or web interface of your NVR. Feel free to name the NVR whatever you wish. I'm going to go ahead and change this one to Home NVR. And once that's been changed, make sure that the username and password values are correct, and then select the number of divisions that's appropriate for the number of cameras that you're going to import to the app. In this case, we'll use 16 divisions because we are importing 16 cameras. When finished, tap on Done at the top of the screen. To view a live image of the cameras, tap on the white arrow to the right-hand side of the grouping that you've just created. P2P will take a moment to connect to the NVR, but once this is finished loading, all of the live images from your cameras will be displayed on the interface. So we've just covered how to set up a grouping using peer-to-peer -peer on the Leland Viewer app. Next, we're going to show how to set up a grouping using IP information. Tap on Groupings, then tap on the camera at the top of the screen with a plus symbol to create a new grouping, and select the bottom option to enter an IP address. Feel free to enter a name for the grouping that you're about to create, as well as a value for the camera divisions once again, because this is going to reflect how many windows are available for us to import cameras to once we've provided the IP information in the later step. We're going to go ahead and select 16 divisions again, and then we go ahead and we tap on the name of the grouping that we've just created. Then we tap on the top empty channel, and we use this interface to enter all of the IP information for the grouping that we're about to import. The URL can be used to enter the local IP address or the WAN IP address, or if it's been set up, the DDNS address can be used here as well. Make sure that the port value is correct, and then make sure that the DVR NVR CMX nav switch is turned on. Then verify that the credentials are correct, and then cam number is 1, then turn on the import switch, and then make sure that import cam count reflects the number of cameras that you intend to import. Tapping the test button at the top will pull the video footage from the first camera. Once that's been verified to be working, you can tap the done button at the upper right hand corner. This will bring you to the following interface. And you'll notice that many of the channels are empty, but that's okay. Tap on back at the top, and then go ahead and view the live view from that grouping that we've just created. This will cause all of the cameras to populate. And that's how easy it is to set up the Leland Viewer app, either by using P2P or IP information. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Leland Technical Support using the information below.